What's going on, guys? Welcome back to WWE Network and Show, where I, Graham G.S. and Matthews, break down all the original content they watch on the WWE Network, on Peacock, and on USA Network. As today, we're talking Season 3, Episode 7 of Miz and Mrs., entitled A Miz's Best Friend. Uh, when they aired the preview for this episode last week, at the end of last week's episode, I immediately got excited. I'm a big dog guy. This episode is all about them potentially getting about get, getting a new dog, which we'll get into whether they did or didn't. Um, I remember they had at least one or two or maybe even three dogs earlier on in the show when it first premiered four years ago. And, and it's crazy to think it's been that long since the show first started. Um, I know Mocha. They talk about Mocha on this episode. I don't know if there was an episode last season, and I don't think there was, because this show takes place late last year, earlier this year. I think their dog Mocha passed away, I believe, last summer, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if there was an episode about that. Like I said, they get into that here, and they get really emotional talking about it. Um, I thought they had two other dogs, at least one of which was named Pumpkin, if I'm not really, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they left those dogs elsewhere when they moved, or if they also passed away, or what the case was there. I thought they had at least one other dog aside from Mocha. They made no mention of no other pups on this episode beyond Mocha, so that's why I was a little confused. But anyway, to start off the episode, Maurice is really worried about the earthquake that apparently hit last night while they were making love, I guess. Miz had no issue with that at all. Typical Miz, typical guy, not complaining. I can't say I blame him at all either. Um, you know, having no issue with this whatsoever. Maurice, rather, is really worried about the earthquake and people potentially breaking in. Um, they're at a park the next day. They're walking around with the kids, and they come across a couple's dog. The dogs are, you know, it's, it's really friendly, and the kids love it, and one of the girls go, Oh, I would love a dog, Mom. And Maurice is like, Yeah, I really want to get a dog. And Miz is like, No, we are not getting a dog. And meanwhile, Maurice also kind of recalls the break-in that happened to their home in Hollywood about five years ago. Again, I don't know if that was covered on the show or not. The show started four years ago, meaning that it could have um, it could have happened in the first season of the show. I feel like it happened before the show even started, but I don't remember the exact timeline. Either way, uh, Maurice is really worried about another potential earthquake and there being another break-in and just being worried about her safety when Miz isn't there. So to kind of ease her worries a little bit, Miz installs this state-of-the-art security system where, and when I say state-of-the-art, I mean super high-tech, where they have cameras that recognize you, drones that fly around the house, recognize you and your face and your motions, and won't set off an alarm if they see you, and it's basically spying on you all day. There's also like a laser that he installs that he compares to Mission Impossible type stuff. And Maurice just kind of laughs it off and says that Miz will do anything to avoid getting a dog. Miz, go over, Miz goes over how it works, but when they trip the alarm, either by accident, they don't know how to turn it off, they can't figure it out, he has to call the guy back up on the phone and say, hey, how do you do this? And the drone is really annoying and never scan Maurice's face, so it kind of goes off when, he's, when it sees her, and it's flying around the house, it's really fucking weird. Um, that's, that's a little over the top, I would say. So Maurice is very annoyed with the noise, with the drones, with everything. And Miz reveals at that point, this was his dad's recommendation. And Maurice even said that earlier in the episode. She said, oh, this was your dad's recommendation. You know, don't do it like your dad would. And he said, I'm nothing like my dad. I don't like my dad, whatever. And then he reveals, yeah, this was my dad's idea. Probably not the smartest move. They both agree the drone isn't working. Um, and then when Maurice says, yeah, I get why you wouldn't want another dog. They poop and they pee and they bark and whatever. They get all up on the furniture, and Miz says, that's not really the main issue. The main issue for me is the fact that I don't want to lose another dog. I don't want to go through that pain again. We lost Mocha. One day she was fine, one day she was normal, the next day she wasn't. She was sick, and then she passed away shortly thereafter, he said. And he was really emotional talking about it, and he was an absolute emotional mess at that point. He did not want to go through that again, and Maurice agrees it was a really, really tough, and even she cries here, he doesn't cry, she cries, and she says, yeah, it was really, really tough, and it was hard on all of us, the kids don't know a life without Mocha, um, but at the same time, though, going through that pain and experiencing that love and, and loss and whatever is a part of life, and I think it's good to teach the kids that, that that's life, and that's kind of what happens when you get a pet, we're going to outlive all these dogs, and it's kind of our, not job, she says, but you know, I think it would be cool and it would be nice to have a pet and, and give them the best life possible before they pass away. So Miz says, all right, let's agree to check out a kennel. We won't agree. We, we won't say outright that we're going to get a dog ahead of time. We're just going to check it out, see what they have to offer. And from there, we'll make a decision. And she says, okay. 
So they get there. Again, this is a state-of-the-art kennel. You talk about state-of-the-art. This is a state-of-the-art kennel. Um, they have like a training facility. They walk around with the dogs. The, one of the dogs, it's, it, you know, um, on its own is really, really nice. And they, they walk around with maybe a couple of them. At least one of them they get really attached to. I think its name is Wolf. I thought they said Roe at one point. Maybe its name was Roe and they changed it to Wolf. Wolf Mizanin, obviously. Um, the dog was so nice, they agree to get it. They're like, we got to get Wolf. And Miz even tells the guy that's selling the dogs, he goes, listen, I had to fight it. I really did not want to come here to get a dog. I thought I wouldn't want to, but we met this dog and I feel like Mocha's trying to send me a message with the little tingle in my heart that I should get another dog and we need that protection and whatever else. So um, he says he had to fight the feeling, he had to fight that urge, but he ultimately gave into it and they walk away with the new dog. But not quite yet. The trainer reveals that, you know, let's keep the dog here for another month, for another month of training. Uh, Because they, like, put it through an obstacle course. They train it to do bite suits and stuff like that. So, like, they're not just going to get another dog. They're going to get a dog that will protect them. So that's really what they want. And the trainer says, all right, we'll keep him here for another month. We'll train him a little bit more. And when I feel like he's ready, we'll bring him over to the house, sniff the house down, get comfortable with you guys, so on and so forth. Um, Before they leave the compound, though, Miz says, what about those bite suits? Do they actually hurt? And the guy says, well, you feel it. And he says, what do you mean by that? And the guy says, well, if you want to give it a shot. And Miz is like, yeah, I was, I've always wanted to give it a shot. Let's do it. And he kind of under downplays the whole thing. He kind of underestimates how much it's going to hurt or what the experience is going to be like. I would never. That is just fucking terrifying, even with the suit on. And you still get hurt. He, he was not wrong. Miz shows off the, not bite mark, but his um, arm was a little bit cut from the dog's teeth, burying that deep into the bite suit. But he doesn't go more than a few seconds in the suit when he runs off before the dog, uh, the, before the dog named Pablo, that's his name, uh, takes him down, rips apart the arm of the suit. Not rip it apart, but he kind of really clenched his teeth into that suit and would not let go. And uh, they find out that Wolf, the dog that they were adopting, also bites that hard and misses salt. He wants that dog in their house. So I don't know if they walk away with him that day. Like I said, I think he's going to be at the compound for a little bit longer. I don't know if he'll be in the next episode of the show. I don't think so. They showed the preview for next week's episode about Christmas, actually, which is going to be very entertaining. Christmas in July here as it airs. But um, I don't think the dog was in that episode. I could be wrong. But, uh, yeah, I look forward to them interacting with a new pup here on the show. I think that's going to be great. So, very entertaining stuff, as always, for Miz and Mrs. A very good show. Uh, Be sure to check out all the other episodes on USA Network and my reviews here on the channel. Be sure to like this video, drop a comment, share the video, and subscribe to the channel for more daily content. I'm Graham G.S. Matthews. Have an awesome rest of your week, guys, and I'll catch your ass down the road.